ready to install our timing gears, our timing chain, and our camshaft. Uh, we're going to install a double roller timing chain set on this unit. As you can see, it has two gears, which runs a double timing chain. That's a pretty heavy duty way to go, and then usually you'll never wear one of these out. Um, the gear does have a front and a rear to the gear. What you want to look for is your timing mark. As you can see, there's a little dot right here on the gear, and that's going to be our alignment mark pointing straight at our cam gear, which will be right across adjacent from that. The back side has a little beveled area, which will help it butt up snug right up to the snout of the crankshaft right here. And of course, that's the keyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little oil. This motor oil will do it. And put a little motor oil on your crankshaft snout here. Just oil it up a little. This way it'll help the gear slide on a lot easier. Take your cam gear, find the timing mark, and make sure that's facing outward. We're going to go ahead and slide the gear onto the crankshaft. This one goes on most of the way. And as you can see, I have a brass drift that I'm going to tap this on here with. And uh, you can always use a, a large socket, a piece of pipe, an old kingpin, or something. But just be careful not to hit near the gears because you don't want to break a gear off. Try to hit as close in center to the crankshaft as you can. And what you want to do is work your way around in a circle. So it goes on straight and goes on evenly. To get these on crooked, you can break a gear right in half. This one's going on nicely. And you just got to keep your eye and make sure this end buttons up all the way snug up to the end of the crankshaft. Alright, the next thing we're going to do here is install our camshaft, which is a very simple thing to do. Some people think it's kind of complicated, but it's really not. All we're going to do is take our brand new timing gear, set it on the camshaft, temporarily put in a couple of your camshaft bolts. Actually one will work. That way we have a tool to hold the cam while we're installing it. Next we're going to go ahead and take our assembly lube put assembly lube on every journal on the camshaft. And all the lobes also. Alright, I just like to work it around there with my finger and make sure every little piece gets wet and lubricated. It's very important to lubricate this stuff because the first time you start it, it's going to be starving for oil pressure especially right around these little cam lobes. We're going to oil prime this engine before we get it going, but that's mostly just going to lubricate the crankshaft and all the crankshaft bearings, not really much on the cam. And put a little bit on the back side of your timing gear also. Your timing gear has a little thrust area which runs against the block and you need to put a little oil on that part too. So we go ahead and take our camshaft, grab it by the timing gear like this, and very gently ease it into the bearing. Remember we lubricated these bearings earlier. Just try not to bang it around too much. Just guide it straight in. It should fit perfectly in there. That's it, right there. So anyway, I've got the cam in, I've got the cam gear temporarily on, I've got the crankshaft timing gear all the way on. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to line up our timing marks on our cam gears and our crankshaft gears so we can install this timing chain on properly. So now we're ready to install our timing chain. And as you can see here, I've gone ahead and marked our timing marks with some white out. So just so that's a little easier to see on the video here. Um, what you want to do is turn your camshaft. What's the timing mark? Turn your camshaft so it's facing straight up at the crankshaft. Then we're going to turn the crankshaft gear. 
so the timing mark is pointing straight at the other timing mark. It's really that simple. So as you can see, I've lined up both of the marks. There's a dot on that gear and a dot on that gear, and we just line them right up. Next thing you do is just take the temporary bolt out of your cam gear without rotating the cam. We need to keep it right there in that position. We're going to take that off, put our timing chain on, and generally how I like to do it is I'm going to hang it like this right over the, and line up my gear, see the little marks right here, I'm going to line up those marks and hang the gear on there so it aligns up properly as you can see right there then we should get it right on our camshaft just like that see how easy that went right on so now we're ready to put our cam bolts in and I'll generally always put Loctite on my cam bolts these bolts are very small and you really don't want one. Loctite on these bolts and all you need is just a little drop just to cover the first few threads here all you need. That'll stick it right on there permanently. That'll prevent your bolts from vibrating and falling out. So I put Loctite on all three of the threads of these bolts. We're going to go ahead and tighten them up. Tighten them on evenly first of all. Everything you do, you need to tighten them all just so they're snug first. Make sure everything lines up straight. Look straight down your timing gear here and your chain. Make sure it looks like it's aligned up properly. And it is. And uh, what I usually do on these is just get them snug. Then about an eighth a turn, if even that. I give you about 15 pounds of torque on these. They don't really have to be torqued too much. In fact, there is a torque specification in your manual. It'll tell you exactly how much to tighten these. But I kind of like to use the stretch method. That's fine. Those aren't going nowhere. So anyway, as you can see here, we've gone ahead and completely installed this timing set. The alignment on it is pretty darn straight. Look straight down the gear and the block. It's pretty parallel there. So we did a good job with that. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put on our timing cover, our oil pump, and our oil pump pickup.